blessings this is prophet michael watson coming on guided prophetic meditation with you i pray that this blesses you i want you to find a quiet space somewhere where you can get alone with you and the lord and i want to go into the spirit with you on a journey into a place where you can learn a place where you can receive a place where you can relax a place where you can grow a place where you can receive heat i believe that you'll be blessed take some time in a peaceful location as we enter into this guided prophetic meditation today there's a difference between meditation in the mind and meditation in the spirit meditation in the mind and meditation in the spirit most of what we know as meditation is really just meditation in the mind meditation that's in the realm of the soul it can be a blessing to learn how to develop your mind to learn how to understand your thoughts to learn how to minister to your mind on a level but it's important that we understand that we have to connect with the holy spirit and with the spirit of god to ever truly make pro in the mind you can't develop train or control the mind in the realm of the mind or you can't ever truly control the soul in the realm of the soul you can manage the soul in the realm of the soul but where most of us fail to receive healing breakthrough increase is where we fail to control take authority and maintain our mind from the place of the spirit it's in this place where god can give you what you need the strength the wisdom the revelation the understanding to really begin to truly take authority to begin to truly take possession of your soul the bible says to walk out your soul salvation with fear and trembling that means that when you got saved you received salvation in your spirit the bible says you're a new creature in christ all things have passed away all things have become new so you're a new creature in Christ but there's this thing that you must begin to do you must begin to possess your soul again there's no way to truly possess your soul in the realm of the soul most of what we know as meditation in our world today is trying to possess the soul in the realm of the soul again you can only manage the soul you can only manage the mind there's no true deliverance in these realms in these places true deliverance is birthed out of the word of god and the holy spirit himself that will lead your spirit in a place of meditation 
and prayer to begin to purge your heart and be filled with the Spirit. So the Word of God and the Holy Spirit is the safe place to meditate. It's a place where you can be sitting here. Most of us learn to talk to God. We learn to come talking and we consider prayer mostly talking and telling the Lord and speaking to God. We want to learn to not just talk to the Lord, but to listen to Him, to hear Him, to develop our listening ear. Praise the Lord. So, meditation is a place of practice God, feeling God. So, practicing His presence, feeling Him, hearing Him, and seeing His Word. The things that we'll talk about in this video are just a foundation of beginning to enter into some deeper places with the Lord. Some call it soaking. Some call it practicing His presence where you sit quietly and you enter into deeper realms with the Lord. You allow Him to minister to you. You begin to envision Him and His Word and what He's saying to you. You begin to search your heart and even search the mind of the Lord on some levels. Understand that the thought realm is a powerful place. This is what makes prophetic meditation powerful because what you think on what you imagine what you meditate on has the power to influence and affect your life negatively and positively it's the hidden man of the heart that's active it's the hidden man of the heart that you begin to access in this realm of meditation the scripture says let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight O Lord Psalms 19 14 first Peter 3 4 says but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not acceptable, even the ornate and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. Notice that the Lord says that in the sight of God, the hidden man is of great price to the Lord. That's what the scripture says. So it's this man that ultimately matters, that makes a difference in your life. It's this man that actually determines who's from your life. It's the hidden man of the heart. It's how you really feel on the inside. It's what you're really thinking as opposed to what you're doing. And even in the things that you do, it's what you're really thinking and what you're really feeling that fills your actions and that fills your words. You can be doing things that are filled with a different attitude, a different spirit. You can be saying certain things that are filled with an opposing attitude or an opposing spirit so it's the inner man that actually determines what your life expresses what your life exudes what manifests in the world around you 
It's this inner man that we want to begin to visit, to search and work on. Psalms 51 says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Verse 16 says, For thou Thou desirest not sacrifice, else thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou will not despise. Praise the Lord. I want you to begin to imagine Now imagine that the Lord Jesus is visiting you and he's reaching out. You see his hands begin to reach above your head and he's not grabbing your hair, but no, he's grabbing something above your head and he's beginning to now pull it down from off of your face. Ah, there was something there that you didn't recognize something was covering your face covering your vision covering your eyes and as the lord jesus pulls down you can begin to feel something being peeled and pulled off of your face he's pulling something off of your face you realize wow that's been there this whole time as if you've been covered as if you've been veiled, as if you've been blind to some things. Understand that there are layers of darkness that covers areas of our lives that the Lord desires to remove from off of our life, from off of our vision, from off of our eyes, one by one. Allow the Lord to begin to remove one of those layers. You may even begin to feel something happening. Understand that the Lord wants to give you new vision. He wants to give you new light, new understanding. He wants to give you revelation. He wants to expose some things to you. Beginning with exposing the secret places of your own heart and then beginning to expose the places of his heart that you would see the things that he sees and feel the things that he feels God bless you and thank you guided prophetic meditation today I pray that this continues to bless you as you can even listen to this over and over and practice going into some deeper places with the Lord. Continue to listen through the rest of the audio. I believe you'll be blessed and allow the Lord to take you even deeper into some more personal and intimate places. Focus on Jesus. Focus on your heart for him tell the Lord that you love him and that you receive everything that he has for you today God bless you